Good morning, guys. What's happening? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, today it is it is tourney day. We are uh, about about ready to leave to head over to the check-in and all that sort of fun stuff. Um, we are going to be starting in the charity tournament for the third year in a row. Um, we've had a blast the last three years. It's a big, big tournament. I think it's like 3,000 to win. Big Bass is 500. Um, they give out a top rookie team, which is technically your first year fishing it. And then they also give out a top male female team. Um, the first year Alicia and I fished this, we were out of top male female by like three ounces and then top rookie team by like five ounces. I don't, we didn't have a limit that year. Second year we had boat issues with the last boat. Um, if you guys don't remember, we ended up fishing it out of our uh, plate boat and weren't able to catch a limit last year either. I think I think the top male female team last year did have a limit, if I remember right. But um, as you guys saw, we went out pre-fished for three days and just the bites hasn't been there. Um, and like we said, the river, we got a bunch of rain there for like three, four days. The river jumped a mile and then they dropped the bottom out of it. Um, it was up for half a day before it started coming down. So um, we've kind of leveled off around that four and a half foot um, stage for, for the river. So it makes it a little tough to get into some places. And other than that, it's just, we've been having 40s and 50s at night. So the water cooled off really, really quick. Um, when we first started pre-fishing, it was like 66 in one of the backwaters we were in. We still caught fish there, um, but I don't know how many are gonna be there. I'm hoping that the river still was coming down when we were fishing that, so there's gonna be more fish pulling out of this backwater that it leads to. Um, but then yesterday, the, a lot of the water was right around that 69 to 71 range, so water stayed warm, hopefully. Uh, we didn't get as cool last night. We stayed up in the 60s. And yeah, we got, as you guys saw, a couple patterns we're gonna roll with and see if we can't scratch a limit. That's all we're trying to do, guys, is scratch a limit. That's pretty much been our main goal this whole year, is trying to stay consistently putting limits on the board because after you start putting limits on the board, then you can start worrying about the this spot over here that's got one big one, or this spot that's got a kicker, or so on and so forth. So anyways, I'm gonna quit rambling because I can sit and talk to you guys all day long. We're going to get the boat backed out and get into check-in line. Kind of a cool format because this town that it's out of, uh, we actually go into the town, stop by the fire station. They do a bunch of like random mystery bags that you can purchase. They do a live wall check. They put a ribbon on your trolling motor. And it's like all stages. And then you get down to the boat ramp and you put your boat in right away, which that's kind of a bummer because you got to sit there and if you're one of the first few boats, you're sitting there for an hour and a half, two hours before before they get things rolling. So anyways, we will uh, catch up with you guys when we hit the water. So did I.
Matt. I got such a freaking disaster going on back here. Move. Move. Do I even need to no. measure him? Thanks, Ben. That is a really good fish. <laughs> Don't drink this. <laughs> Smally number two, another two and a half or two and three quarter. Oh, Alicia is kicking my teeth in today. Yeah, but your two are the ones we want. Hey, he was hooked good enough to get him in the boat. That's a good fish. Come on, stay on, stay on, stay on, stay on, stay on, stay on. Hurry up. That is the cold fish we needed. That is the cold fish we I'm needed. I'm so happy. That is the cold fish we needed. Good fish. I'm sure you can see how the camera's been bouncing up and down. Move. Move. Number three. Three. Go figure. I don't think he's gonna help. I'm gonna come back. I heard him screaming.
Well guys, we finally just got back, uh, pulled the boat in, trying to get some stuff set out and get get to air drying. Um, we never did hit any rain until we were locking back down and it flat poured. And then let up a little bit when we finally got out of the locks to run down, it let up then. And then when we got back from weigh-ins, it was straight down poured again. So everything's soaked now. Um, our shoes, socks, I ended up going barefoot because I didn't want to get my shoes and socks completely soaked. Um, but we got back, weighed in. I think we were fourth or fifth people to weigh in and we held first place in Big Fish for 15 boats. Yeah. Probably 15 boats. So we, we were real confident then. And uh, then it was kind of a pound more, two pounds more. And I think the big bag that ended up winning was like a 15.18 or something. Um, but we were able to place in the top 11. We ended up in eighth place with 12.45. Um, that last fish you guys saw Alicia catch was a 3.5. We didn't, we didn't weigh any of our fish today. We just kind of knew what was bigger and smaller. And um, so. Like I said, we ended up with 12.45, which gave us eighth place. They paid out top 11, so we were finally able to cut a check. And this is the biggest tournament that we fished, so we couldn't have been any more ecstatic about it. Um, and other than that, what we said in the beginning, we want a top male, female, and we got that this year. We finally got that. Um, but we had all in all we had a great day uh fish i mean the bites they weren't feeding like crazy uh we were able to pull three out of the first spot then alicia landed two real nice smallies on our second spot third spot we couldn't even get a bite so we left that quick jumped over to the fourth spot we were getting a few blow ups here and there um alicia hooked into one that was probably another over three and he just just didn't eat it the greatest so she didn't get a very good hook in him and he launched straight out of the water probably two foot and shook the hook and then she pulled that three and a half out of the last spot. And so we said, you know what? We're just gonna fish these rocks on the way out. And other than that, I think we only caught one fish on them rocks and that was a small one. So yeah. fishing was good. Uh, they do mystery bags and they're 20 bucks a mystery bag. And we ended up winning three rods out of that. So we won three rods. Alicia got a $20 gift certificate for a place. I got a Cordova drag strip um, package, which is like four tickets to any, sh any show we want to go to, which is nice because it's five minutes across the field. But anyways, thanks guys for watching. Um, for all of you that is stuck behind us doing this, we finally cut a check and yeah, it was a good day. So we'll catch you guys in the next episode.